Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sussbury, a true dad, welcome to Port Royale 4, and this just takes every single one of my boxes, so, okay, let's go through them. Number one, I like a game with a big, beautiful map screen. Well, the game's literally set in the Caribbean, so no fear there, and on top of that, you can just zoom in, look around, and it's just flipping beautiful. Everyone's just sailing around the world, there's waterfalls and everything, it's just, it's Gorgeous. Number two, as you may have noticed when I played Mountain Blade, I love nothing more than being able to just wander around the world, being a lovely peaceful trader and making tons of money just shipping cargo from one place to another. Well, that's what this game's all about. And number three, I do enjoy some town building, ideally on hexagons. Oh look, a town builder mechanic based on hexagons with ludicrously complicated overlapping adjacencies going on. Yeah, you know what? I think me and this game can be friends. Now, the game does have a campaign mode if you want a more structured experience, but if I did that, they might ask me to do something other than trading and building up my little town. So, that's going to be a no from me. Instead, I'm just going into an open free game. Now, okay, first things first, need to choose which of the four nations uh, to play as. And I can't help but notice that England's got a giant pile of, like, cannonballs, or whatever, and France has brought along some pillars, uh, for some reason, and Spain's got, like, uh, a box of crosses. Uh, the Netherlands, meanwhile, they get parrots. This guy's just brought his parrot collection along. So, yes, obviously them. And of the characters available, obviously I'm going for the merchants. So yes, I can trade with everybody, but it's going to be more expensive for me to get combat vessels out there. Luckily, I don't care because I'm just here to have a lovely trading day. Though, admittedly, the pirates might have something to say about that. And thus, under the flag of the red money bags, we're on our flipping way. So, just need to figure out where I want to start today. So, I could be kicking off on Crooked Island or... Okay, well, Cat Island, we have a winner. So, say hello to the beautiful, if slightly worryingly low-lying Cat Island. So, uh, yeah, we got a little island uh, to work with here. We've got the Atlantic Ocean at our backs and the Caribbean stretching out in front of us, including, uh, yes, islands that look um, a bit less prone to flooding. Seriously, are we, are we sure about this? Because, okay, I'm sure it's fine. Right, so, the way the game works basically is this. Every island naturally is good at producing a certain number of things. So in the case of Cat Island over here, we are good at producing metal, we can produce our own corn, we can produce coffee, we can produce vegetables. So food is not something we need to worry about, we're never going to be starving. Though that doesn't mean people are happy, of course, because yes, these people are fussy plebs and have written me a letter saying, John, we've been eating corn and celery for every meal for the last two years. Could we please have, like, you know, some fruit, or some meat, or some beer, or a bowl of shreddies or something? So, okay, you fussy plebs, I guess we'll sort that out, because this game is very much about trading. Which is why I've got my lovely fleet, Tabby's Revenge, over here. That's actually representing uh, three ships, even though it looks like one on the map. So if this town's gonna grow and not hate me, it's gonna be wanting, you know, at least some access to basic goods. So yeah, grain, fruit, wood, because we can't really build anything without wood, so that's pretty bloody important. Beer, bricks, again, we're gonna be needing that for construction. However, yeah, we have got tons of corn, tons of vegetables. We're producing more than we're consuming. So the stockpile is growing, and as a result, supply and demand is taking over, and the price is going down. Simply put, we can buy this stuff at a good price and flog it elsewhere, where they do not have access to the same level of food. So if we just zoom out here, yeah, we can see all the other Dutch colonies. And they're also going to be producing their own stuff. Some of them are going to be very bad at producing food, very good at producing other things we might need. Like, say, yes, Florida over here. Can't help but notice that over in Florida, they don't actually seem to have, you know, any source of food whatsoever. Assuming, I don't think you can eat cocoa, like, you know, as a food stuff. Yeah, they have literally no access to basic goods by themselves at all. So, unless someone's actually, you know, shipping it to them, they don't have access to it. Now, I'm not the only trader in the world, obviously. Other people are going to be shipping stuff in and out too. But uh, keep an eye on those guys, because uh, sending them food, especially vegetables, which we've got, yeah, the price of vegetables over in Florida is very, very high. The price of my vegetables, however, is relatively very low. So, okay, that's an example of a good trade we could do. 
So, let's kick off with a nice simple trade here. So, yes indeed, we know we're producing metal here, so I can buy some metal. But, if I buy too much, potentially, yeah, you can see there, once I start draining the market, the market gets jittery. Because I've emptied too much, and all of a sudden, uh, the price is going to start going up in a hurry. So, I can buy most of this metal, but like if I buy too much, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to buy 62 of the metal coming out of the mines. And more importantly, here we go, the coffee. Because we're just swimming in coffee. So I'm just going to buy that up to about two bars. This is a bit on the expensive side, but there we go. The ships are filling up very, very nicely indeed. Basically, I'm just buying as much as I can get my hands on for the time being. And if the town just happens to be, you know, floating something because it's been delivered by somebody else, it might be worth buying anyway. So also just buy, you know, handful of vegetables. Uh, that's fine. So I've just dropped about 50,000 gold into a giant pile of stuff that is now inside uh, my hold. Spectacular. Now, 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 now. Tabby's Revenge, my beautiful fleet. How about, my friend, you go over the bay to Andros? So just get time ticking along here. And just indeed, as long as you're zoomed out, time speeds up. But if you just zoom in, time slows down. You just get to, you just get to watch your ship. Just kind of, you know, making its way across the bay, which is... It's just lovely. I just love watching a ship sailing around a really beautiful world where it's so colourful and bright and everything. I just flipping love it. But yes, let's, uh, let's just zoom out here. Make sure that they uh, make it there nice and quickly. In a moment, they will drop anchor and that'll let me know they have officially arrived. There we go. We have made it. And you can see here how much I've got, what the average price was, what I can get for it here. So at a glance, you know what's good or bad to sell. So how about I just sell all of this stuff straight away? And all of a sudden, they have got themselves some vegetables. Absolutely beautiful. And what's this? You guys would really, really like some metal. Well, I think we could sort something out. But yeah, there's the thing. Start selling too much and they'll be like, well, actually, that's some... Um, that's all we needed here. So, actually, we're not going to be giving you that much more. So, start selling too much more than that. And all of a sudden, yeah, the price is going to start going down. In fact, yeah, the price is going down pretty fast. So, what I've just done here is I may have slightly overbought the amount of metal that I actually needed. Because they don't need that much metal. They want some, but they don't just want, you know, so much they're just sitting on a giant pile of it. So, I'm going to sell you a little bit, like 14 of those metals right there. Then we've got ourselves, yes, some beautiful coffee. The problem is, yes, this place is small. It's a small town, so they don't need that much coffee. So I've made a good profit here, but I'm still floating a fairly large amount of these resources I don't actually need. But what we are going to do is we're going to pick up, yes, yeah, some nice cheap stuff that you guys are producing. So I will gladly be buying, you know, a nice little bit of fruit. I'll clear you out of that because, yes, my town needs uh, some fruit. And this is beautiful and cheap. And sugar. We're also going to buy ourselves a giant pile of sugar. Because as far as I can tell, things don't go off in this game. Like, this is a magical alternative 16th century where they had refrigeration. And we will also buy ourselves some beautiful hemp as you've got plenty right here. And what else do you produce? Ooh, you produce pastry. Well, la -de da an advanced quality good. Well, you know what? I'm going to buy some while I'm passing by. So, okay, Andros was tiny, but the capital is right here. There are many more people in this capital than there are down over here in Andros. So, uh, probably it is time for Tabby's Revenge to go and check out the actual capital over here. So we're just going to sail up in that direction and see what's going on. And yeah, you may notice I'm being, uh, I'm being outsped. But that's fine. They're friendly ships. We don't need to worry about them. Ah, an important lesson learned too. Uh, yeah, it looks like the port of the capital is on the north of the island. So uh, yeah, need to remember that going forward because obviously we can't just sail over here and dump our stuff on the southern shore. Now, the capital is also a bit special in a way, which is, uh, yeah, if we just go over to the, uh, the Viceroy over here. Yes, the Dutch Viceroy would ideally like my assistance in various ways. And he's also going to let me know, okay, apparently we're friends with France right now. So me and France, super chill. So doing what he says could be very useful, because then he will grant me fame. If I get fame, I can start having advanced buildings and all sorts of bits and pieces. So, uh, okay, 
in our town, vegetables have been in short supply. Now, uh, that there, that's something I can do something about. Because, you know, I grow vegetables on Cat Island. But on top of that, yeah, he wants a certain amount of stuff delivered to him to basically ship back to the Netherlands. I assume one of the things he wants is uh, coffee. Now, coffee, we can do something about. Ah, the problem is someone's delivered coffee to these guys not so long ago. So, uh, okay. I'm actually going to be making a loss by flooding the market with, uh, with too much coffee. So if I just give you 16 coffee, how do you feel about that, my friend? Aha! He's already given me a fame point. So I could basically take a loss on the coffee, but swap it for a big pile of fame. And I need fame to unlock the ability to, you know, have buildings and whatnot. So, okay, I'm going to dump a bit of coffee in your hands, my friends. I'm also going to sell you literally all of the pastry I just picked up from Andros, because you had, like, none of that. And, yeah, we're not flooding the market. We don't have too much. So, yeah, maybe maybe try to avoid overbuying. That might be a good thing. And, oh, yeah, you want some of this, don't you? Oh, you want loads of that. Good. Good, good, good. You can have all of the hemp too. Good, we're unloading some good stuff here. I'm keeping the fruit though. I'm dumping that back with my friends. Then again, how much would you want? You don't want all of it. So I'm going to give you like some of it right there. So I can still make a decent profit on that. And uh, one other thing to take note of here, which is uh, they've got some advanced production facilities in particular. Yeah, metalware. So unlike simple businesses that just, you know, produce stuff out of the ground, yeah, if you want to produce beer, you're going to be needing grain. If you want to produce, like, I don't know, stuff made out of metal, you're going to be needing metal and also some coal. So this place is always going to be needing metal to keep its industry going. These guys could be a good ongoing customer. In fact, they're just consuming metal like nobody's business. That means, yeah, they are going to very happily buy everything I've got. So, okay, that there, that's a good thing to keep in mind. We've got a good friend who can keep buying the metal from us basically indefinitely. All right, now that's lovely, but I cannot but notice, here we go, Grand Bahama to the north. They've got pretty much everything that Cat Island needs. They have got grain, they've got wood, they've got meat, they have got themselves a lovely big pile of beer, and uh, they've got coal too. Now, if I was to nip up there, I could grab the coal, bring it back here, drop it off at Nassau, and then also head back to Cat Island. Then, my island would be growing beautifully. So yeah, you can kind of choose to, you know, move around selling to make the most money, or you can prioritise growing your own island, where potentially, you're going to make less money, but you will get the satisfaction of knowing that Cat Island is the best Dutch colony, which it is. Right, we're going to Grand Bahama anyway, though on the way, hang on, just check, uh... Check Nassau's situation here in terms of coal. They do have some coal, but they'll almost certainly be, yeah, they'll be burning through it. That's per day. Then again, that's per day. Days happen pretty slowly. Maybe I'll pick up like a bit of coal, but I don't need that much. And oh, there's the English. Hang on, were we friends with the English? No, we're friends with the French. We're not at war with England, but you know, be careful because you shouldn't trust anybody wearing that wig. Now, annoyingly, yeah, Grand Bahama's actually a bit of a trip because we've got to go all the way around this bit over here. Come on, guys, just build a second harbour down here. And in just a moment, we should hear. There we go, the ding ding, we have arrived. All right, Grand Bahama, me and you have got some business to do. I am, of course, willing to flog you some of this ridiculously large amount of coffee that, oh, bloody hell, they don't want that much coffee. Okay, do not overbuy luxury goods. Lesson learnt. Now, buy myself some grain. I should be able to buy a fairly large amount of that. 43 up towards... Uh, honestly, the price isn't going up that much. I'm willing to buy up to, like, say... Yeah, right up to the edge of one bar. Just because I want to take this stuff back to my own territory. And wood, same thing. So 43 is the base. That goes up... Okay, that goes up pretty fast. I'll just buy it, uh, 43. So 100 wood, now aboard. Though we're getting a bit tight on storage capacity right there. But this is the stuff that my home territory needs. And ditto on beer. That's a bit on the expensive side, so maybe we don't need uh, quite so much of that. 
Now, meat is going down very slowly, because not everyone can afford meat. So if I just buy a little bit of meat to take home with me, that will last a long time. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that home, and yeah, I'm just going to buy a little bit of coal. Just like 25, and we're going to flog that at Nassau on the way past. Honestly, may as well visit uh, Mosquito while we're passing by, because there's literally no reason not to. Nothing we're going to be able to do here. Maybe we could flog some extra coffee. Like, at this point, we're just travelling coffee salesmen, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We'll just drop in here. We'll drop off some... Oh, you've got a lovely place to live. Oh, look at this. You got yourself, like, you know, a lagoon with islands in it. Oh, that's wonderful. Then again, I'm guessing giving you called Mosquito, and I've heard about Florida and swamps. Maybe not the nicest place to live, actually. And in comes my boat to say hello. Marvellous. Mosquito, me and you have got business. Now, while we're in this part of the world, we may as well nip down over here to the fascinating Florida Keys. Because uh, Florida Keys is basically, yeah, rare and advanced stuff central. These guys have got really, really advanced bits and pieces. Luxury items. The creme de la creme. For that, you're going to be needing, uh, yeah, some ceramics and some metalware. So, okay. We could maybe deliver you some of that from Nassau. Tobacco as well. They do produce their own ceramics, though. So, okay. They produce their own ceramics. For that, they're going to be needing... Oh! You might need coal, too. Okay. There might be good business just running coal from, uh, yeah, uh, up north in Grand Bahama down to Florida Keys and Nassau because they both need it for their businesses. Then you produce your own ceramics. Other than that, you just need, uh, yeah, the metalware and then... Uh, Honestly, most of the stuff that's needed for this could probably be produced between, uh, yeah, Nassau and Florida Keys and then fed by uh, Grand Bahama. So, uh, okay, come here, buy the luxury stuff, flog it elsewhere. I mean, I wasn't even meaning to do this, but yeah, I can flog them some good, good price for some coal. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, actually, they'll buy, they'll buy all the coal for a good price. So I'm just going to flog them all the coal while I'm here. And I'm not going to be greedy or ridiculous. I'm just going to buy 10 of those luxury items. Uh, that's it. And we're going to offload them as soon as we can. Right. Now we swing back via the capital to... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, what else does the capital actually want? They want some tobacco. That's interesting. Because, hang on. Back to Florida for a second. We're just going to pick up some tobacco on the cheap here. And now we're going to do a favour for, you know, our Dutch friends. What we're going to do is we're going to dump a bunch of tobacco and a bunch of coffee into Nassau just for the sake of, you know, earning some lovely fame. Can't help but notice, though, they're also kind of starving to death and would pay very well for grain. I will give you some of the grain... Because you're paying a good price for it. Okay, just some. Oh, but this here, I'm going to make a killing. They're desperate for tobacco regardless. I'm going to make a profit and earn some fame. And dump the rest of the coffee, which they've now decided they want. Oh, flip me. We finally sold all of that. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. I'm guessing. Uh, oh, oh, would you look at that. He loves me. He absolutely loves me. So, I've got one fame point right now. I'm going to spend it on a captain's license. So, uh, that means uh, I get to have myself a captain. Hello over there. No captains available at the minute, but they'll be coming to uh, introduce themselves uh, sooner or later. And then, we can actually put a captain on Tabby's Revenge, which will hopefully give us some good advantages. Oh, don't forget, sell the luxury stuff, and yes, we can still make a good profit on all of that. And we are actually, yes, now in possession of uh, more money than when we started, and uh, I have got a holder full of stuff. So we are doing just fine. May as well just pick up a few swords or whatever. Not much, we'll just dump these on our own island, because yeah, we can make some good money out of it. Just 15. 15 will be just fine. And with that, we're going home. Alright, I have gone out into the world, I've made a giant pile of money, and now we can dump some goods into Cat Island in order to, you know, help make this place a better, happier place that everyone's going to love living in. Until there's any form of flooding, at which point we're screwed. My friends, I have brought you giant piles of... Okay, maybe not that giant piles of grain. I've brought you, like, some grain. I have brought you some grain. 
I have brought you some timber. I have brought you some sugar. I have brought you beer. I have brought you so much beer, you lucky, lucky bastards. Okay, so now my town is looking solid. Very, very solid. And uh, we've got some water, we have got some bricks, and I believe, hang on, we've also got ourselves... Uh, yes, we've got people who don't have jobs. So if we need to do any building around here, we most certainly could. So, that's all fine, except for one small problem, which is, yeah, right now I've just got one fleet with a handful of ships. Ideally, I'd like to be running multiple fleets at the same time, but then things are going to start getting confusing. So this is where we start automating it. Yeah, there's a surprise number four reason I love this thing, which is automation's actually a big deal in it. And the moment we start automating, we need to consider something else here, which is, yes, the wind. So what I'm going to try and tell my ship to do now is basically uh, follow a route and do a certain number of things. The problem is, uh, yeah, the winds are generally prevalent in one way rather than another. In fact, they're very strong in this direction. So uh, there is a nice circle right here. There's nothing to say you can't go against the winds. It's just going to slow you down. So it's something to uh, to keep in mind. So, uh, okay. Arguably, I'd say, yeah, I could do a really, really tiny loop here. But Andros is so tiny. And yeah, this place is so tiny. Then again, I could help bulk this place up a bit. I could. So, how about we just run a really small loop between Cat Island, Andros, and Nassau? So, we're just going to go around those, and I'm just going to slightly, slightly tweak this to make sure, yes, we're trying to follow the wind as best we can. Admittedly, I'm, I feel like I'm slowing it down more than anything else. Yeah, I'm not actually slowing that down at all, even though it's a bit longer, just because it's giving me an estimate for how long it's going to, uh, how long it's going to take. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to run this tiny, tiny route around here. All right, that's lovely. Now we specify what we're going to be doing in each of the towns. So obviously, yeah, we're always going to have plenty of corn and plenty of vegetables on Cat Island. Now we could tell them to always buy a certain amount and also, yeah, just buy whatever or alternatively just buy it to a certain price. I'm going to set this to automatic. We'll see how it does by itself. We might want to set some uh, manual limits in time, but for the time being, we should be okay. When we reach Andros, we should then try and sell what we can to them. Though, honestly, we're not going to be able to sell that much. We will also at that point continue boosting what we've got on board by buying fruit, by buying sugar, and by buying hemp together with, yes, all the pastry they've got. We will not, however, sell the metal because we'd rather keep that to flog over at Nassau. We then buy a handful of things, but mostly we flog everything at the capital. With the exception of beer and swords or whatever, which of course, yes, we can then add to the sell list over here. Right, Tabby's Revenge, that is now your job. And away she goes. So yeah, the AI has made its own decisions about uh, what to buy or not buy on this occasion. Because it doesn't want to buy, like, you know, too much or anything. So as a result of that, what's the situation you've left this place in? Well, right now you've bought every vegetable going, which might have been a bit excessive. But they are going to be growing more. So uh, the town's going to be in perfectly good shape. I tell you what, as I'm passing by, yeah, I can't help but notice that... Uh, some of my residents up in the north of town aren't gaining a market bonus right now. So we're going to slap down a brand new market right there. And would you guys like a hospital as well? That's okay. Maybe that's a bit on the expensive side. You can have one new market just to cheer you up a bit. So Tabby's Revenge makes its way over to Andros. And then the captain's going to have a bit of a think. So, okay. Dumps the corn and dumps huge amounts of coffee, actually. Good, good, good. So we're straight into a bit of money right there. And then just as a think about what you're doing, though, actually, you... It might be automatically repairing while it's passing by, not sure. So, yeah, at that point, you are not selling the metal because, of course, you're taking that up north. So, okay, that's lovely. But now, of course, we're going to be needing more ships to do our own business. So uh, let's just uh, zoom in over here. At the capital. So I imagine the capital has, uh, yes, a proper shipyard. Good, 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 good. So a couple of small vessels for sale right here. So these are like, I don't know, confiscated or people who went bankrupt or something of that nature. Or I could order my own ship. But 
yeah, to do that, you're going to be needing to make sure there's enough local materials, otherwise, you know, they can't fulfill the order. But I could use that to produce, you know, bigger, more exciting, sexy ships. Right, well, we've got the money. Buy both of them. Lovely. So now, got myself two brand new ships. Got to form a brand new thing out of them, and... They weren't the same thing. Sorry, I thought they were the same thing, but no, no, they weren't. All right, brand new fleet, Tabby's Fishy Dinner. We need to go exploring because, uh, yeah, right now, we don't really know what's around here. I mean, I know Spain's going to be around here, but uh, we need to find them. Especially as uh, my viceroy has specifically said, hey, go and buy vegetables from Spain, then bring them back here. So that there, easy pile of fame and also easy pile of money. Hopefully, I should be able to afford all my ships just on the basis of uh, the automated trade route we're already doing. So, uh, yeah, we can go on a bit of an adventure. But, of course, if we're going on an adventure, we may as well, while we're, you know, on the way, do a bit of buying and selling. So, we could just basically go round the coast. In particular, given we've just purchased these ships at Nassau, yeah, giant pile of metal stuff. So, we'll just be grabbing those, sending them on their way. And, oh, go on, someone's going to want some beer as well. So we'll buy a little bit of beer, not too much, but like, you know, some. We have got some good stuff to flog on our journey. So, Tabby, head to Florida Keys. We'll flog some stuff there, may well pick up some more stuff too. Then we're heading out into uncharted territory. Okay, so here we go. I've just got a bit of like a, uh, a tasting platter of Dutch culture right now. Hello there, you're French. So we can just, uh, we can ignore you. That's absolutely fine. Just head up the coast, see what we find. Because I'm pretty sure the French live up here, and then the Spanish live uh, round over here. So we'll just go for a bit of a look, see? Find some towns, uh, see what they're producing. Because uh, some stuff, there we go. Some stuff we might be completely incapable of producing uh, by ourselves. And I can trade here immediately because I'm the merchant class. And as I was hoping for, yeah, straight away, they desperately want a whole bunch of stuff I can offer them. So we can make a big profit just flogging a bunch of stuff from around the corner. In fact, we flogged everything but the giant pile of swords. So yeah, we'll keep them. There'll be some swamps over there, by the way. Oh, there's some good swamps. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So just keep your eyes open for a few more bits and pieces. Just follow the coast around in this direction. And yeah, we'll find some more towns, uh, we'll flog some more stuff, we'll buy some more stuff, we should be... Hang on. Hang the flip on. What are you... What's going on over here? So, a young woman is looking for help. Okay, he was taking part in a treasure hunt, you say. Okay, this is, uh, this is of interest. Uh, Tabby's Revenge, you're currently just, uh, doing the rounds uh, for the minute. In fact, you know what? In a moment, you're going to be passing by that very person. So, okay, just as soon as you've dropped that off, I'm going to pull you into manual mode. You can go and take care of uh, take care of that. What have you found, by the way? Aha! You found the port of St. Joe, which is, ooh, get you, brick production. Now, that's kind of fun, because I haven't seen any brick production. So, yeah, that could potentially be very, very useful indeed. Aha, the Dutch do have one brick producer over here in Port Orange. So, uh, yeah, we don't have much of that in the world at all. Hang on, no, there's another one over. Okay, that's fine then. There is still brick production in Dutch territory. So, uh, nice find, but not quite as good as I thought. Oh, but here's good. Uh, these guys are producing ceramics and they're struggling to find buyers. I could just buy huge, huge piles of ceramics and everybody's cool with it. Okay, now that, that's good. On we flipping go. Right, Tabby's Revenge. You've dropped off some stuff over here. Let's see if you can find... Uh, well, I can see him. I can see where he is. I can see him. The problem is he's... I'm gonna be honest, when you say he's, he's shipwrecked and he, he needs rescue... Are you 100% convinced this wasn't just him very politely deciding to to just, um, go? Because I feel like he's just actually on a beach holiday and maybe doesn't want to be found. Okay, two bits of good news. One, a captain has finally contacted me saying, hey, I guess I'm willing to work for you. So, uh, 
he is a helmsman, meaning, yeah, he can actually move a little bit faster. Very, very useful indeed. So you, my friend, you are hired. And you're going to be assigned to Tabby's fishy dinner, so you can help us explore a bit faster. And more importantly, yes, we were given a mission. We were told to, yes indeed, gather vegetables from Spain. Now, we have discovered a vegetable producing Spanish colony right here. So let's just go and very quickly do a bit of work with them. Right, cleared out as much as we can here. 97 vegetables. Now, this is going to start getting expensive fast. So, uh, honestly, I do just want the vegetables. So, uh, okay, maybe we'll buy up to... I'll buy up to 75 vegetables. We'll find a more reasonable place for the rest of them. But now my ship should be moving a bit faster with my new captain on board. Beautiful. Oh, we finally found the guy who was sitting literally just outside Nassau. And he needed help getting back to Nassau. And thus gave his boat to us because we helped him. You know what? Great, thanks. Yep, there he is. So we... Wait, if his ship isn't... If his ship isn't seaworthy, why is he... Okay, this ship's going to become mine in time, and it is... Uh, it looks fine. It looks absolutely fine. And even better, I found a place in Spain that will buy all 130 swords for a giant pile of money. So we are just uh, swimming in it right now. And uh, we can buy some clothing. Okay, you need... Well, you need some sofas. I will sell you uh, a handful of sofas... Uh, but yeah, what I would like in return is uh, clothing. 100% will be having a little bit of clothing. Because there's not much of that floating around in the Dutch territory right now. So that'll be good. And here's what we really wanted to see. Uh, La Pesca. So we're going to drop in here. It's another vegetable producer. So uh, we should now be golden. Oh yeah, swimming in vegetables. Buy them all. Now here's a rare sight though. I've found rope production. Now, I've not seen much in the way of rope production, like, anywhere inside Dutch territory, so I suspect I can make a killing on that. Right, time to head for home, because I've got to drop those vegetables off by the beginning of March, and we're a long way from home right now. Still, we've learnt a lot about the French, a lot about the Spanish. And back on Cat Island, yes, we've got, well, we've got pretty good news, which is uh, the town is now approaching its maximum size. It's growing, but we need more. And we shall therefore build a small church. How about... How about right here? Alright, just so these guys don't feel that again. These guys are... These guys are a lost cause. They're too close to too many mines. We're just going to slap it right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and watch this. My town needs some rope and some clothing. Well, 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 just you guys wait. I am coming with everything you have ever wanted. Also, there was, um... Okay, this is mildly embarrassing. So apparently the Spanish had a vegetable producing territory literally right here. Like, right here. Right next to Dutch territory, which I could have just... Never mind. Okay, my friends, my friends, my friends. It is time to sell you some vegetables. I will gladly sell you vegetables. Like, here, have a hundred vegetables. And then we just nip round the corner to Mosquito, which has literally no vegetables either. And then that should be the mission complete. The task has been done. And with that, here we go. Have some vegetables, my friend. So you can have a hundred of them. Thank you for procuring the commodities. And thank you for coming up with such a fancy way of saying it. Oh, look at that giant pile of fame. Oh, and now... Now we can start making the big money, because I am bringing quality goods from the far side of the world. Oh, beautiful. Just flipping beautiful. You're not having all of this, though. You can't have all of it, because I need to hand some of it over to my friends. And in particular, yeah, ropes are in ridiculously short supply. Ah, yes, don't forget, free extra ship from that guy I rescued. Beautiful. All right, guys, I have got such good news for you, which is uh, you say you'd like clothing and rope. Well, uh, here you flipping go. And on top of that, I have brought you grain. I have brought you wood. I have brought you everything your little hearts could possibly desire. You're welcome. 
Now, while I've been away, things have been happening, which is because I've been, you know, trading with these islands, uh, they're starting to like me. So I can buy the right to build uh, on these islands, but they're evolving too. Uh, once upon a time, uh, there was no rope in this part of the world, but somebody has built a rope factory. So yes, they can turn hemp directly into rope. So we're now producing that locally. Nassau, meanwhile, is weirdly underdeveloped, actually. In fact, yes, Nassau's a bit... Nassau's a bit of an odd one, because they've got beer production, but no access to the grain that they need. And they've got cotton, but no textile production. That's... that's all very peculiar. Though, hang on, what's going on with this? Ah, apparently there's some form of problem with your cotton fields. I don't know 100% what it is, but something's wrong with them. Well, if we just look at the surrounding territories... I can't help but notice there's, uh, there's an opportunity here, I would say. We know clothing and cloth have barely been seen in this part of the world, so... Uh, okay, I would say I'm going to spend 25 grand on the right to do some building around over here. And here's what we're now going to start doing. We're going to start doing a, a little bit of construction. Step one, we need some more cotton. Though before we do that, hang on, let's just... Let's make sure we understand what's going on here. So, oh wow. Okay, you have got so many people who don't have jobs. Not a problem. In fact, you know what? I'm going all in on this. I'm going to buy the existing cotton plantation. Absolutely lovely. And on top of that, I'm going to expand it. Because I know if there's four next to each other, they become ludicrous mega farms. So, that's going to mean this place is swimming in cotton, and that's good, because if it's swimming in cotton, that means we can get working on, you know, uh, producing weaving stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Now, the Viceroy needs to give me permission to make a weaving house. Luckily, this guy likes me, and I'm very close. So, okay, here's what we need to do. We just need to ship him a giant pile of cocoa, tobacco, coffee, and... Weirdly cotton, despite the fact they produce cotton locally, but whatever. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know precisely what we're doing. Step one, buy coffee. Oh, there's not, there's not that much coffee. Okay, we might need to find somewhere else to produce these. Actually, you know what? Florida Keys. Florida Keys produces most of what we need already. Plus, we need some time to pass for my new plantations to go down regardless, so... Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This is the stuff right here. We can now buy some good bits and pieces. Not much, but some. It'll do. We are going to need a lot more than any of that, though. Like, lots more. Okay, who's sitting on giant piles of stuff they don't need? Oh, here we go. Out of the way, Turks Islands. No one's visiting this because it's way out of everybody's way normally. And also, uh, okay, there's a piece of a treasure map for seven and a half grand. Well, I'm not saying no to that. Okay, I've got a piece of the map. And I could probably identify the island if I just went around for long enough. But I need to find the central piece, apparently. Dear, oh dear. Because yes, right now I don't have the X, which is pretty important. Also, just double-checking here. Yes, good, good, good. We are turning a profit on the original route I'm running here. So that's good. That's good. Because I was mildly, mildly worried I hadn't checked in on that for a while. So, okay, just uh, just keep everything moving on here. Keep it all moving on. Oh, never mind. We're golden. We're golden already. I just picked up a bunch of fame from doing a few bits and pieces for him. Okay, so, 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 so. We know what we're doing with that. No, I don't, because I can't buy that till I've bought... Okay, I need to unlock brewing first. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Okay, head to Turks Island regardless. Just buy a giant pile of cocoa, ship it back, it'll be fine. Oh, they are swimming in it here. They're just swimming in it. They will sell me... They'll sell me hundreds of it. Oh, this is... Okay, so I've just filled up the ship with cocoa. Good, good, good. And a giant pile of rum too, because why not? Though of note, down over here, Crooked Islanders are also just swimming in cotton. So yeah, we've got we've got lots of cotton in this part of the world, but not anything to do with it. Oh, but here's interesting. 
Now I own these cotton businesses, and they want to ship cotton back to the Netherlands. Oh, I'm just getting free fame all the time. Well, this is marvellously good news. Okay, so I've nipped south and flogged a bit of sugar to the English, because they said they needed it for tea or something. I can't remember what they said exactly. So yes, that's got me some extra fame, because the Viceroy wanted me to do that, and now he's offering me cheese. Isn't that absolutely magnificent of him? So I've now got a fame point. All right, brand new fame point, and that means, uh, bloody finally, weaving mill. Yes, I get to build a weaving mill, which is convenient because uh, this place is just flipping swimming right now in cotton. Like, so much cotton. In fact, I think I've actually put everybody else out of business. Good, 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 good. So yes, this place is now going to have... Uh, it's going to have a lot of cotton. There's going to be a lot of cotton here being produced very quickly. And that means, that means there's a massive surplus. That means, oh, it's time. It's flipping time. Yes, 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 yes. Just double check we've got enough workers here. Yep, we've still got enough workers here. We are golden. We are absolutely golden. Guys, I have got good flipping news for you. Now, we also gain bonuses if we are adjacent to, uh, yeah, the raw material supplies and residential areas. Because we want to have, there we go. So right here, there are people next door and uh, we've got all this stuff right here. So I'd say this here, this is going to be, uh, that's the right spot. Out here, we are going to have ourselves a brand new weaving business. Oh, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be beautiful. There are construction materials missing in this town. Are there now? Okay. So we need bricks. Right. Where do bricks come from? Because I know there's some bricks around here somewhere. Here we go. Port Orange. We'll just nip up in that direction. They're going to flipping rip me off for it, but it's fine. It's not many of them. It's worth it. Oh, it's done. It's done. The weaving mill is done. And right now, oh my... Oh, flipping my, yes, 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 yes. Now, as a result of that, Nassau is just producing cloth. It's pretty much the only cloth producer in the area, which is spectacular. This is going to be my cloth over here. We are going to be swimming in it. And in just a second, as I just build up a little bit more fame by just, you know, going around, doing my business, gathering the stuff that our Dutch friends back in the Netherlands want... There's another fame point, and with another fame point comes uh, tailors. Oh my, oh flipping my, because now, now we're just flipping swimming in raw resources. There is so, so much material here. Oh, oh, ho, 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 yes, 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 yes. Ah, but apparently we need to do a bit of groundwork. We don't have an architect yet. So, okay, I will gladly give you one of those. Where are they and what do they want? You have to be the administrator of the town to commission buildings of this category. Ooh, I don't run the place yet. I'm just, you know, the majority owner. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If I want to take over, I need... Uh, I need more buildings. All right, I need... Yeah, I've got 220 buildings right now. If I want to take this over, I need 500. Except apparently I've got 200... Oh, that must be just the farm. Okay, then we need to buy out every damn business in this place. 300 gold would get me this crop farmer. And that's got to be, that's got to be a good amount of workers. Well, we know how to make money in a hurry. Because the capital is constantly just shipping away coffee, cotton, so therefore I can just feed them more and more cotton, tobacco, and cocoa. So if I just basically gather that and bring it here... There's always going to be a market for it, every single month. Alright, bit of trading later. Now, we are going to be having, uh, yes, this corn farm as well. So now, I own... Wait, is this corn? Is this, yes, this is corn. Sorry, should have um, done some research into the business, like what it does, before I bought it. But uh, there we go. So we got ourselves uh, people. How many people do I now have working for me? Another 60 workers. Okay, we're getting close. Well, here's interesting. Apparently this place could have had sugar production here the whole time, but nobody ever bothered founding the business. So, okay, that does sound nice and easy to do. 
Let's have ourselves a couple of farms over here. And if I just have two of them right now, have you guys got the materials? No, you need wood and you need brick. Fine, I will get you that because once those buildings are built, I think we're golden. As of today, we are at war with France. Wait, what? Wait, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I thought we were... Were we not best friends with France? I could have sworn we were best friends with France. A second... Okay, so now... Right, um, we've got a problem with... Oh, and England and Spain are fighting each other too. Um, slight issue, which is... Okay, uh, so far, this whole plan of mine involving having, you know, a small number of ships that have got no guns on them. That's worked fine. Uh, now... Maybe more of a problem. Okay, for 20 grand, I'd have the right to go after French ships. But honestly, I kind of don't want to. Hmm. Okay. Also, you'll give me a giant pile of fame if I just sort of uh, help out with uh, buying coffee from Spain, who apparently we're friends with now. Problem is, the only Spanish coffee producer I'm aware of is uh, all the way over here. Very much on the, uh, the far side of everything. So... Uh, Bad call, not even that much coffee there. You know what, we'll leave that one be, that's fine. Oh dear, suddenly the French are, um, they're everywhere. Uh, okay, but like, all I want to do is, is go, actually, and I'd, I'd just like to, could I, could I, could I leave, please? I just, I just want to go. Please, please let me, I feel like there's, okay, there's about to be a battle. The Dutch are showing up at this exact moment in time uh, to hopefully deal with this situation. I'm, I'm staying out of this. Okay, good, good. I was temporarily blockaded. The Dutch military is doing a good job. Uh, we've got to keep a very, uh, very close eye on the French. You know what? We should just stay out of this bit of the world. And when I say stay out of this bit of the world, I am currently in the process of buying some, uh, some... What just happened over there? Okay, so the bloody French. We were such good friends. Okay, so I had to capitulate because I didn't have a single gun on me. Uh, they've stolen some stuff. What a bunch of dicks. I've still got some stuff. Alright, I've got some stuff. We need to... We need to stay away from this bit of the world. Or maybe stick close by to, you know, uh, military ships. Otherwise, problems. Look, I'm just trying to deliver tobacco and coffee and cocoa to the Dutch. All right, they just like it over there. That's all I want to do. Oh, but more importantly, okay, my sugar plantations are now done. So, okay, we've now got... Wow, we've still got a lot of job seekers in here. But, 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 there is not enough living space in the town. So, okay, that is fine. Okay, I am very happy to purchase you some beautiful... Beautiful living space, except I can't because I'm not actually the administrator. Well, 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 well. I think we might be able to uh, sort that out, actually. Don't, I don't care about France, actually, but still 20 workers short. Oh, hang on. 20 workers short. I could have sworn we... I thought we had enough. Oh, here we go. 100 grand, one bit of fame, and Nassau will be... Mine. Now, this is probably going to turn out to be a mistake when the French come and besiege the place in like two and a half minutes. But this is fine. I'm sure it's all fine. Here we go. We desperately, desperately need new places to live. All right. The whole place is hugely overcrowded. So step one, we're going to slap down some new housing. Though we're going to need a bit of wood to sort that out. But that's fine because Grand Bahama is literally just around the corner and the Dutch military seems to be very much on the ball right here. Also, that um that town I just built, uh, plague. There's there's plague now. So a plague just uh broke out. Good, good, good. Been making good purchasing decisions today. So yes, we did indeed already have a hospital. It's just that it only covered uh these guys over here. There are a lot more people over here who who weren't covered by the by the hospital. Okay, maybe we build a new, uh, new hospital. This might have been a good wake-up call. Okay, my new hospital is almost done, providing coverage to a lot more people. There's already a couple of parks in this town, which is lovely. Plenty of these guys seem really happy, actually. For the most part, this is a lovely place to be. But don't forget the whole reason we did all of this, which is, uh, yeah, what we actually need is uh, an architect. And yeah, this is a special center of the city spot that only certain important buildings are allowed to go into. So, uh, sure, we'll slap that right there. 
Also, I've come up with a really good loop I should probably be automating. Because, yes, this loop is not doing that much. But, over here, Turk's Island. No one ever comes here because it's so far out of the way. But, 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 it just generates huge, huge amounts of cocoa. So, we can just show up. Buy a giant pile of cocoa, no problem whatsoever. They also produce rum that no one ever seems to buy, and that seems to be in fairly short supply as well. Cheap wood too, never turn down cheap wood, everybody always needs wood. Cheap bricks as well. Now bricks aren't the most indesired thing in the world, but capitals, where there's lots of building, they do need them. Then, we just head over in this direction. We head over here to Puerto Padre, alright? Because this, this is where we can buy all of the coffee and all of the tobacco in the world. And for some reason, yeah, this always seems to have loads of it. So we're going to buy loads of that. We're going to buy loads of that. And now I am just absolutely full up on basically all the things that I need to ship back to the Viceroy. This is the stuff the Viceroy's after. And I'm already automatically producing cotton. So in just a moment, we'll be arriving here. And then we just ship all of this stuff straight into there. There's some wood, my friend. There's some bricks, my friend. There you go. All the bricks in the world. I don't care. I've just made a loss. It's fine. They want some of that rub. Made a bit of a loss there. Again, don't care. Shove this in. Shove this in. Shove this in. And that there is a slightly ridiculous amount of fame I've just gained in no time whatsoever. And finally, finally... I get to do it. I get to build the tailor. Okay, there we go. It's going to take a few days to show up, but that's it. This place is now full up. We cannot have any other types of business here because you're only allowed seven. Admittedly, I'm still not 100% sure why we have this beer production facility here. Or this place or... Yeah, there's so many more reasonable things we could have. But screw it. We finally actually got something to do with all this cotton. Okay, it's time to do it. Tabby's fishy dinner is going to be automated. And we're going to keep this super simple. Alright, on Turks Island, all you're supposed to do is basically buy literally everything they're offering. Because all of it, all of it has good value. You move over to the English town, you buy all of their tobacco, you buy all of their coffee. Alright, once again, you do not unload anything. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. And then at Nassau, you sell all of it. But while you're passing by, you may as well buy some other stuff too. Because, uh, yeah, if you just buy up, actually don't buy up the cloth. Buy up the finished clothes if there are any available. Buy up the, yeah, the, um, the sorts and the whatever. You may as well just buy yourself a handful of sugar as well. Don't bother taking the corn though, you kind of need that to, you know, not starve. And those you may sell on the other legs of your journey. Life is good. Tabby's fishy dinner now does that route automatically. So that is now happening by itself. So at this point, we should basically be automatically feeding the Viceroy everything he wants. Alright, so fame should just be constantly rising every month, all the time. Oh good, and the war with France ended without any movement of the borders whatsoever. So that was all pretty pointless. And it is done. It's done. We have now actually got ourselves, uh, yep, tailoring. We can produce everything on sow right now, alright? We get the cotton, we get the cloth, we get the clothing. Everything is, uh, it's beautiful. Though looking at it, yes, I think the balance might be a bit on the, uh bit on the wrong side right now, which is uh, we've got way too much cotton to not enough textile production, and in particular, yeah, we don't actually have enough textiles anymore because the people just want textiles for themselves uh, to support the clothing industry. So actually, yeah, the pipeline is, uh, it is not optimal. It is not optimal at all. One thing I think we do need, however, is, uh, yeah, Right now, we have almost 4,000 citizens, and that means uh, we're going to be needing a bigger church. Also, I'm not sure what this does, but like, in the church, you can press the pray button. And when you do, there's Latin and a flash of light, which is... Which is interesting. Not sure what this does, but you know, it's probably good. Did I mention there were charts, by the way? There's like 10 million different charts, and... Uh, oh, I love a good chart. It's like having an Excel spreadsheet in the middle of your beautiful Caribbean game. I love it. Oh, and speaking of charts and spreadsheets, I've just put down my first warehouse. Now, these things are expensive. They cost you a grand a day, but... 
protect raw materials uh, from trading routes. So do not fall below the 10 day demand for raw materials for all of your businesses. So that therefore is going to keep the textiles safe so people can't come in and buy it, thereby preventing me from producing clothing. And if I wanted to, I could just say, you know what? Nobody can buy because I'm just going to lock everything inside my warehouse. Screw the lot of you. And then I can start setting maximum amounts and maximum pricing and percentages and duds, duds, duds. Yes, basically, if you like Microsoft Excel and you like pretty games, then this is golden. Now, I admit that's that's probably just me. That might just be me in the entire world. But like, if you like the sound of that, this is really damn good. Oh, check out my new church, by the way. It's beautiful. As of today, we are at war with France. Oh, good, because that worked out so well last time. In fact, I'm slightly worried the um the war seems to have slightly crashed the entire economy. Does anyone know why I'm suddenly making no money? Oh, good, both of my trading routes are losing money. Good, 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 good. That's excellent news. Because we can't buy anything. Oh, we've hit a liquidity crisis. This is... Wow! We've actually come across a real financial thing. So... I've run out of money, but without money I can't buy the stock, so my ships are just sailing around not doing anything as the debt accumulates, because... Wow! Okay! Um... How do I get out of this financial hole? Because I may have taken my eye off the prize for just a moment, and now I have no cash flow, and no ability to... Uh-oh! I'm carrying literally no cargo. My ships are just sailing in a circle, carrying... No cargo. Right, everybody deactivate your routes. Return to Cat Island immediately. I'm going to decommission the fleet. We're just going to put it into dry dock for a second. Then we don't need to, like, pay wages or anything. So, everything's fine. It's all under control. Just get everybody here. Everybody's going to be here. It's all going to be okay. Right, so now, now we just need to get in the damn harbour. Okay, all my convoys have been disbanded. All my ships are now in the harbour. Meaning I am now... Not paying for them. As a result of not paying for them, hopefully Nassau can start making some money back. Because now we're not throwing money away. Nassau, please. Come on. I know you make money. Because I literally own the damn place. And, okay, we're, we're clawing it back. It's fine. Everything's under control. Because, except, hang on. Am I just floating stock in the warehouse right now? Stock we're not actually doing anything with. Yes, yes I am. I'm just sitting on thousands and thousands of stock that we can't sell because, oh, good, excellent. No, um, get, get rid of, okay, so the warehouse basically destroyed us. There we go. So now we should kick all this stuff, like, out of the warehouse, with the exception of, then again, you know what, it's, it's fine. Everything's, everything's under control. We don't need to actually hold any of this stuff. I will sell it to the first person who comes to visit. Yes, so basically what happened was I put literally everything I owned in a warehouse and refused to sell it and that caused a liquidity crisis, which is, which is amazing. Hello, Spain? Yes, anyone actually, I will, I will sell you anything. Like, we're having a sale right now. Basically, just, just buy whatever you want for any price you want. I will, I'll let you have it. Please come back. Oh, it's the bloody French treasure fleet. It's attacking all of the bloody... Oh, okay, it's fine. It's under control. Everything's okay. I'm gaining fame, apparently. I'd have thought it was infamy, to be honest, but okay. It, it's all under control. I mean, this is working. We are clawing the cash back. In fact, hang on. That's a good point. I've got stuff sitting in the warehouse. Stuff that... Ooh, Okay, no, no, I can fix this. This is fine. Deploy all flipping ships back onto the ocean, all right? In one single mega convoy. Yes, give me literally all of the clothing and a fairly large amount of textiles as well and a really stupidly large amount of... Okay, basically, yes, the, um, the warehouse was a mistake and why are you sitting on this much corn? Right, that's it. That's everything I can possibly take with me. But like, hang on, now it's, now it's here. Can I just... I could have just sold this from the warehouse. I didn't even need the ships. Just sell everything. Alright, sell all the things we have. Okay, and now we're back into profit. Okay, everything's, everything's fine. It's all under control. 
And now we can get the trade back underway. Because we've actually got the cash to buy the goods that we need. So we move over here. We buy a bunch of building materials. You're going to presumably in a moment buy a giant pile of tobacco and whatnot. And then we just take that north and we dump it in Nassau. Okay, and also a treaty has been signed. I'm sure that's no problem whatsoever. And there we go. Now we're actually making money through trade again, finally. Also, I've just realised we may as well send this route to via, you know, Cat Island to pick up their coffee. Because why wouldn't we pick up the coffee? No one else seems to be picking it up, so may as well just buy all of that there. There we go. Nips over to Cat Island, picks up a giant pile of coffee... And I've also set them to basically dump everything. Yeah, there we go. They're auto-dumping everything in the sow. Because even if that's not necessarily the best idea, it's worth it just for, you know, keeping the fame rolling in. And with the new route underway, my wealth has now recovered to nearly its highest level of all. Absolutely spectacular. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This here is Port Royal 4 and... Basically, there's going to be two reactions to this. Either you've already fallen asleep, or you've already gone and bought it. There's no middle ground here, okay? Either you think the idea of Excel spreadsheet 16th century Caribbean simulator is amazing, or you can't imagine anything worse. I think it's cocking amazing. So, well worth a look-see. Link in the description below. I love it. It's colourful. It's fun. I just get to trade. There is, by the way, like, a full combat system where you, like, you know, have guns and it's turn-based and you can only fire, like, one broadside per round. So firing both sides, if you can get between the enemy, is more efficient. And da, 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 da. I don't really care about that. And what I really like about this game is I don't have to. If I just want to play this as a trading simulator and town builder... I can. If I wanted to be exclusively a pirate and completely ignore the trading and just sail around, ransacking, stealing, getting my money that way, building a massive mega fleet and just burning everything down, I could do that too. I love games that say, hey, you can play this any way you want and actually flipping mean it. So uh, yeah, liking this, liking this an awful flipping lot. Might well see it as a live stream at some point. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been the really rather excellent Port Royale 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is, uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras, and this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.